title screen. Yeah, there it is. I never noticed that before. That might have been in the original game. That's weird. I'm Good just stupid. Work, Raiden. The radar should be functioning now. Remember your VR training sessions. The tool is exactly the same one. It maps the terrain as well as the position of enemy personnel. The bright dot in the middle is you, right? Whoa, that's fuzzy. The red dots are It was never that fuzzy in the old the game. It just looked like a normal video. Division. Somebody fucked up you when they were uh, HDifying this. Weather. But if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Okay. It gets jammed easily. I'm starting to understand all the complaints about this collection. It's all made from currently existing okay. technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong That's harmonic weird. resonance. So be careful. The That's a weird problem. Should now be available after touching the start button. How do I save the mission data? I've set aside proprietary frequency for saves and an analyst to work on the data too. Jack, is everything all right? What That's a bad now? idea. Jack, can you hear me? Rose, you're not supposed to be involved. What's going on? Jack, I'm a part of this mission. Get it? They're Jack and Rose, going on? like Titanic. Brighton, meet the mission analyst. I didn't get that Should for like two years. The data saving and support. Why her? The Foxhound analyst that was supposed was a to take part child. of this mission was in an accident. Rosemary was brought in as a replacement. An accident? And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. Rose may be in the service, but an intelligence analyst is no field officer. Not to worry. Why she would you bring her in on a mission where her boyfriend could She's die? She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane. That could only lead to I problems. I have my own reasons for I know why. For this mission so but Colonel, from his I context, why would you ever I do that? I know your VR training performance in and out, but sometimes that's not enough. You're familiar with the Shadow Moses incident? You know I covered it in VR. If there's a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the field, you need all the help right. you can get. Jack, you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Rose. You need someone to watch your back. But I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data. But I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, that I am not required to follow your orders outside of my immediate duties. Jack is not simply a field personnel for me to track. His safety comes first. It's kind of the same with every job, though. And because of that, I will be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do what you see fit. Hey. I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. Hey, are you guys glad to see Colonel Campbell back? Of course. Isn't he great? Is right Wasn't he great in MGS1? Also great back? in this game. Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Let me know when you're ready to turn in a save. The proprietary save frequency is 140.96. Yeah. I just switched frequencies. Jack? What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? <laughs> Hope you familiar. like this shit. Is there something special about it? Isn't there? I can't remember. I'm sorry. Oh well. I'll keep trying till I hear the answer. I'm gonna let you go now, Jack. He's Take got care. some stuff to focus on, girl. Head might not be in the game. Okay. So uh, these guys are about to wake up the fuck up. And I don't actually remember the best way to hide right. them. The enemy sentry is regaining consciousness. Be careful, Jack. Find somewhere to hide until the elevator arrives. You must stay out Did of I sight. Did I click the elevator? I don't think I did. Oh, okay. I didn't think it was up yet. There's a third one over here. I don't remember that either. Oh, this is exciting. I don't remember shit. One cool thing you can do. Get back. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to take me out. Now, he should fall unconscious, I believe. Nope. How many is it on heart? There we go. Okay. So now we're going to take this one out. God damn it. <laughs> okay. This is going real well so far. Why did I miss? Why did I miss? No, I missed. 
Okay. So like I said, I'm a bit of an expert at MGS2. Uh, this is all going exactly as planned. Don't, don't you worry. I, I got, not him, the other one. The other guy woke up. Yeah, so uh, I planned this. This is all part of the mission. The other guy woke up. I'm trying not to kill you guys. I'm trying so hard not to kill you guys. That guy didn't get knocked out. We might be fucked. We're fucked. <laughs> By the way, we're fucked. This is exactly when I'm gonna get an influx of viewers, because that's what always happens in these games, is uh, when I'm fucking up, that's when people come in. Oh my god. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I can't restart. <sighs> I didn't hit the elevator button anyway. God, I can't aim that cartwheel at all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna get this guy out of here. Oh no. And by the way, I'm bleeding right now, and if you're bleeding, they can follow your blood stains. So uh, we need to stop bleeding. We need to pee some blood. Let's go hit that elevator button. Oh, there it is. We're good. Exactly as planned. See how perfect that was? Get ready for a long playthrough. The terrorists call themselves Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The name of their the leader of the game. is Solid Snake. The hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be the solid so snake. So now you know why Snake was he on the elevator. Two years Everything ago on that makes sense. After he blew it sky high. Could he have survived? Not a chance. Colonel, I'm on the roof. There are no sentries. But it would only take one to spot me in this light. You never had daylight VR training after all. Stay extra sharp until you can find a node. You to do log actually, in from. if you play the VR missions, the there are daylight missions. SEAL Team 10 has landed on Struts B and C. And the president? Seems he was spotted on Strut B. Strut B? Alright, explain this video gamey. The oil big tanker. shell is comprised of shells one and two. For Each oil unit consists of a central facility, core and say. six struts surrounding it. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. I probably should have briefed you about this. Strut A, shell one at the moment. First, get to a node. Log into the network. Got it. Okay, and you'll notice I don't have a radar here because I have not activated the nerd. And I also don't have an M9. If I was a real dickhead, I could kill some seagulls. Oh wait, I can't punch one crush. I forgot. I'm so stupid, guys. All right. The calls are relentless in this game. Right. Seal Team 10 is in. Do we really have no line of communication with the SEALs? They don't know a thing about us. You know we work in love the dark, and this mission is He's no exception. Super cool. Only a few people know about your presence here. <clears throat> There's no need for concern. This operation is under Pentagon's direct command, and the NSDD came from the Vice President and the Secretary of Defense. Your mission may be top secret, but it's gone through the usual channels. Second? Check my texts. And now. Oh, the look at this after. I got some weird shit in there. Okay, let's go in. Into the palm room. All the music in this game is super good, too. I'll leave the first floor to you, okay? Understood. Thank you. 
Yeah, Raiden can cartwheel, by the way. If uh, you didn't catch that in that last scene. Colonel, I've located the node, but it's under heavy surveillance. I can't get in any closer. There's one guy. Distract them. Try making some noise to draw their attention away. How? Flatten yourself How do I make noise? The punch button. Got it. So yeah. Uh, yeah, we could do that. We're gonna go around and then one. No, we don't want to kill him. We just wanna just wanna knock him out. So now we activate the nerd. We don't go back to the title screen this time. And now we get a radar. Okay, what? Got one, I see. Don't leave him lying around. Hide the body as soon as possible. When his comrades come back from the roof, you don't want him being found. If they do find him, they'll be on the alert and things can get difficult. When you take a hostile down, hide More the body on that where a, a patrol is unlikely to come around. You can drag an enemy personnel's body. This is how to do it. First, walk up to the body, and with all weapons deselected, press the weapon button to pick it up. So we're not going to do this because down, all you have you to do is leave the room the and tracks. enter a new load screen, Release and it won't be an issue anymore. Go of the body. We might do this in the future with other people, but not now. There we go. Now it's like it never happened. And we also get the radar for the connecting bridge if we get the node that touches it, so, uh, yeah. God, stop calling them. Raiden, watch out. There are sentries posted Raiden. on the connecting bridge. They will spot you if you continue on course. Any recommendations? Use the hanging mode. Hanging? Face any waist high oh, self -camel. Man, all the, the videos are super grainy now. And hang over the side. Once there, you can move sideways while keeping out of enemy sight. All right. I'm giving it a try. Don't forget the grip gauge. It I like that you can see Raiden's hair during in the hanging camo. maneuver, and once it runs out, you will fall. Copy that. Wait All right, second. what's going I just on here? New intelligence on the operation being executed by SEAL Team Ten. Intercepted? As I said before, they need to be kept in the dark about our presence. So we just listen in. I'm I really feel like it'd be more to our advantage to work with the seals. Alpha Zero. We have the president. Is he but safe? He that's is assuming safe. everything's on the, the up package? and up with this operation. Tell the guys upstairs that we've secured the package. Which it isn't. Easy money. Good work. Your retrieval is on the way. Come on home. Roger that. Holy! Alpha Zero, report. Damn it! Cover the president. Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Alpha Zero. We're under attack. This is crazy. Is that? Alpha Zero. Wonder what's going on there. All Let's go find respond. out. Raiden, the president's life is in danger. Head to Strut B now. All right. So I don't believe that guy turns this way. I'm right about everything, as you saw in that last room. Wait a minute. Do they not move at all? I thought they started walking down the hallways. All right. Maybe not. By the way, the floors here are loud. So uh, that's the only reason we don't uh, just walk across. And your health does... Ooh, he does turn around. That's cool. And your health does affect your grip level, too. So, uh, yeah, our grip ain't great right now. I hope this guy doesn't turn around and catch me. I feel like he's going to. Let's go. And it's just that easy. Snake couldn't do that. All right, get ready for some uh, demonetizing shit. <laughs> We're not making any money off this video when it gets uploaded to YouTube. Uh. It's really weird because if you turn blood off, the blood's still in the hallway and everything. It just doesn't fly out of bodies in cutscenes. Kind of remind you of the Gray Fox cutscene? There's a reason for that as well. Hi, Neil. You're cute. Cute dog. Got 
Gotta cover your eyes for this one, buddy. I don't think I'd be handling my shit very well right now. Eat. But he doesn't do a very Philomar voice in this, which is kind of cool. Right there is where I noticed my blood was turned off in that old game I played. Because <laughs> that guy looks super stupid without the blood. <laughs> Just flailing on around like one of those uh, car sales tube people. So yeah, we don't even have a gun, so we're kind of ill-equipped to deal with the situation right now. You may realize. I mean, we handled those three guards in the basement super handily, so maybe we could take Vamp the way we are. And you also get two different versions of this cutscene if you have a gun. Raiden can have a gun in this cutscene. He's not a vampire, though. Don't get confused. Snake does not want you to get that fact mixed up. He is no vampire. What are you? Five today. Or six. I feel like we don't talk about how cool Dead Cell is enough. Dead Cell is super awesome. Even Fat Man. He's pretty awesome. Not a vampire. Get down! Well, that voice sounded familiar. This, ah, I don't want to say it. It would spoil things. Like, not for smart people. Smart people will figure out who this is right away. But if you're dumb like me, you won't, so. Where is he? Ryden, you should shoot. <laughs> you shouldn't just stare, you should do it. You got a pretty clear shot. Maybe not anymore. Mm, strange smell. You smell like... Are you? It has to be. Shoot him! What are you waiting for? Yeah, no kidding. Queen. Yes, but wait till I tell you what I found. So when people started calling people Queen just in everyday conversation, I legitimately thought they were referencing this game. I didn't think it was like a RuPaul thing. <laughs> I figured that out after. And that's not a joke. I thought everybody was just down with Vamp.
Hold on. I'm not an enemy. Calm down. Yeah, you spaz. You just helped this dude. Whoever he might My be. Name is... My name is Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin. Lieutenant Junior That's Gray. the worst name I've ever heard. <laughs> Good job. So again, I did not figure out that this was Snake. And it generally it genuinely surprised me when he revealed it. <laughs> How did you get in? Fast rope descent from a navy chopper. And as we're about to find out, yeah, he has sea lights on him, so obviously that's not true. He is the worst liar in the world, and every time he lies, something contradicts him. Like that sea lice. That suit. Are you foxhound? Like immediately that's when he right. tells a lie, something comes out to Fox show you that he's lying. <laughs> Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? I was part of the Army's Force 21 trials. Force 21? That's about tactical IT deployment, right? This footage was always grainy, but I think it looks Field normal. Experience? It's just the codex no, stuff that they didn't really. master, I think. So this is your first. I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like what? Sneaking mission 60. There we go. Weapons 80. That's from the trailer Advanced of Metal Gear Solid, the VR mission. But realistic in every way. It had a really weird animation a style in the trailer. The digital age, that's just great. That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year, a few soldiers die in field exercises. Or is it There's from the intro video? In I think it was a trailer a and an intro video. And urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think, to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. <laughs> War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? <laughs> that looks so stupid. I love it. <laughs> Big fan. So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Right. What's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nanomachines. So are you. You have Kodak too. What about the president? Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah. Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? I love Raiden so much. This is a top secret He's mission. He's such a stupid no asshole. No one can know that we're involved. It's a little too late for that. Good job. What's up? Told Take to keep them in the dark, immediately reveals himself and tells them who he is. What the hell? A Navy Yeah, captain. that's the weirdest thing we've seen so far. That. Not the vampire that was flying around the room, the guy with the broken handcuff. You all right? Give me a few minutes. So Must yeah, have lost a few more pints. You I guys thought. have figured out that that's Snake, because you're not stupid like me. This is my favorite version of Snake, because you get to see how cool he that is outside freak. of the player's hands, and he's really cool. Vamp. <laughs> he's Romanian, a wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. There's but your VR the troopers the reference if you were looking for prison, it. The unit began to unravel. They were always close to the edge, but they became more yeah, and I'm more extreme. Stewart. Began to go after U.S. allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than a hundred people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. Yeah, I really like dead cell. The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. Yes, he did. You mean the incident that made never this big question shell it. necessary in the first place? Right, and he was the one. You're about that to see some footage tanker. that didn't happen, but by he's the way. A legend. Legends are usually bad news. Like he has a FAMAS right there. Between heroes and That's from an earlier version of the game that they showed in trailers. And he's running from the explosion there. 
when he never no, did that. he's not involved in this one. His body was positively ID two there. years ago. Snake is dead and buried. And that may be a commentary on how sequels can change the, the narrative of things that already happened. I saw Russian equipment too. Former Soviet Facts military, may be exaggerated. Mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. Stories differ depending on, on who this? tells them. And you came in alone to boot? Even if Why? it's Snake. What are you really doing here? Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't smoke. Keep it anyway. May come in handy. I don't want them. They were probably in your stomach. We all know what you do. Take this, too. Really weird that they're giving me the gun from the first game. Damn, I can't hit this thing. It's like some bad dream. Alpha, anyone, come in, all Alpha. This is Bravo Zero. Aren't you going to answer him? Yeah, Snake. You're a real seal, aren't you? Better answer it as slowly as possible. Okay, good. I'm off the hook. The BC connecting bridge. We need to get there. Can you handle it? I need a few more minutes. Remember my frequency. It's 141.80. 141.80. That's Master Miller's frequency. I've been briefed on this plant's layout. If you need information on the place or about Dead Cell, contact me. You're using nano communication, right? Yeah, but I can patch into your frequency. Hey, cool. What's your name? Raiden. Raiden. You're not supposed Strange to tell people man. that. It's top Makes secret it mission. One my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday. The game is screaming at you that he's Snake. I'm mad at myself retroactively for not realizing. Okay, so first we're gonna get this node. This nerd. Get the nerd. All right, we good. Now, we're gonna call Pliskin so that his number can go into our codec. 141.80. And then I'm going to hit circle because that's what it was in the original game. But it's actually X in this game. He's asleep? There we go. Now we have it in our speed dial. Now we're going to call Rhodes and save the game. So I don't fuck up What's again. Up, Jack? What's up, Doc? Jack, do you remember what day tomorrow is? Here we go. Man. I'm sorry, but I still don't have a clue. That's okay. What is it, Rose? Sorry, Talk I sat on a clown. I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. How important? Important enough, and we'll talk about it tomorrow. Why not now? Tomorrow seems more appropriate. I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna finish this thing by tomorrow no matter what. You know I'll do everything I can to help you. Rose, there's something I need you to do as an analyst. Analyst. It? it has to do with Solid Snake. The leader of this takeover incident is claiming that he's Snake himself. The legendary mercenary? Hmm. I need as Did much they not data tell you on this? him as possible. You everything came on board? on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes. Should be a burial record somewhere, too. You should be able to request top-level security clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. I'll contact you as soon as I find out something. All right. And with that, we're going to call it a day. Thank you guys for joining me.